Hello everyone, I wanted to try to get a uh, sermon to you today. I'm going to be in Lamentations, the third chapter. I'm going to start about verse 20 and go through verse 26, I think. Lamentations 3 in the King James Version of the Bible, starting with verse 20. My soul hath them still in remembrance, and is, and is, you, is assembled in me. My soul hath them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall of my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Um, that is so comforting to me that his mercies are new every morning. Uh, he just refills them every day. Uh, I was thinking in terms of a, a reset uh, you know, in Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We, we can re have our minds reset every day. Um, you know, uh, the iPhone. I've got an iPhone, and sometimes it kind of doesn't want to do right. If I can turn it off, and then turn it back on, it'll reset it. Uh, I've had to call for help with electronics um, before, and you, whether it be a computer or an iPhone or whatever you're talking about, and that's one of the things I'll ask you to do, is turn it off, and then wait so long to turn it back on. Um, that's the way we need to do our mind. We need to let God reset it. Uh, sometimes it can be reset by prayer for me, Sometimes it can be reset by scripture. I have had my mind renewed and reset by somebody calling and uh, encouraging me. And that's why I want to do these uh, sermons on these videos, because I want to see if I can help you do something that will reset your way of thinking, um, a new way of thinking. Uh, resetting your mind, turning off the bad Thoughts and activate the goods. Um, your mind is such a an important thing. I want to learn all I can do to help myself in that department. Uh, negative thoughts, I don't have to seek them out. They seek me out, but I have to... Um, seek out the good thoughts and that's what i try to do every morning i read me a quote uh read a story try to get me a scripture and try to uh, remind myself of the of the things that um uh, god has done for me because if you don't try to do that satan will jam your mind with all the things that he's um all the things he tells you and um, you know there's a there's a fight within you the uh, Indian dad the Indian son said dad the Indian dad said son there's two wolves that live within you and they're trying to take control fighting for control of you one's a good one and the other one's a bad one and the Indian son said well who's going to win and the Indian father said, the one you let control. So, um, you know, there's there's been a, uh, a struggle. Uh, there's a struggle when we pray uh, between the flesh and the spirit and when we live between the flesh and the spirit. And uh, Jacob wrestled with the angel, uh, I think, all night long. We wrestle, the spirit wrestles with the flesh, and we have to let God be in the lead 
or the flesh will overcome us. Um, I, I love I love the ways of the Lord. Uh, I think back to and talking about Jacob wrestling with the uh, with the angel all night long, and the flesh and the spirit uh, wrestling to see who's going to take charge. Um, you know, uh, e even in the Bible, um, we there were twins, and uh, and Jacob and Esau, uh, they wrestled before they were born. Uh, one of them was supposed to be born, and the other one. Um, if it wasn't them, it was somebody that, that they um, beat them in this life, beat them, beat them being born. So uh, a lot of twins. Uh, there's, there's a lot of twins in this life in the ways of the Lord that, that happens. I, I know I'm a little scattered. Just hang in there with me. And I think I'm going somewhere. And... Um, Just, just give me just a second here. Just like old Thomas in the Bible, uh, his name was Didymus, which I think means twin. There's a twin within each one of us. And uh, I heard that saying when I was in high school, I think it said, I could be happy in this life, but everywhere I go, there I am also. We, the, we the ones. I'm the one that that I have to battle the most. It's my flesh. So uh, the um, the Lord, he he wants us to to let the good twin win, and uh, so you have to. Uh, Make up your mind who's going to be in charge because there'll be uh, things that come to your mind to do that if you heed that voice, it won't be good. And I'm a little pretty good bit scattered today, I think, more than just a little scattered. But I hope this short message, it's not going to be as long as the others, I don't think. I hope this short message at least gets you to thinking on your own. And I start my day off, like I said, with a quote and a, and a story and a scripture. And we've got to reset our mind every day. And I'm trying to encourage you to reset your mind every day. Uh, just like I've talked about default. I, I, in the Word app, I try to, I want bold print. And I, I get it. I get out of the app. I come back the next day and I'm expecting to be bold print. But it's went back to the regular print. Um, I didn't make bold my default. That's the way some people are. They don't, uh, they, they can get it together if they're with other people and uh, in, the, in the presence of other people, like-minded people. But when they're on their own, they go back to the default, which is looking at negative things. So I really appreciate being with you today. I appreciate you listening. Hope this has helped you. I love you. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not trying to replace your minister, or you get in the church. I'm just trying to help out if uh, someone can't get to church, whether they get, got the coronavirus in the hospital, in a nursing home, flat on their back with some sort of sickness, whatever the case may be, I'm trying to help you. And uh, so if you need me, you call me 256-508-4410. If I don't get it right away, just leave me a message. Let me know who you are because I might not have you in my contact list and what it is you need. And I will do the best I can to get back with you. Besides trying to get yourself reset, when you do that, um, try to reach out to somebody else and help them reset also because we're not I'm not the only one that needs it. And that's why I'm trying to reach out to you. I know that there's somebody out there that needs a reset too. So today's message has been about <laughs> been about a reset. A mind reset, a thinking reset. So until we do this the next time, may God richly bless you.
and be with you.